Well, hi folks, it's Dan Lenny from fstopacademy.com here with another video tutorial for you using DaVinci Resolve and the Tangent Element uh, panel from Tangent Devices. In the last video, we looked at um, pulling a key using secondaries and, and using the knobs and buttons panel to adjust the parameters of the qualifier. In this video, I want to move into using um, power windows. So there are two ways to create a power window. Let's start by adding a new node. Um, and what we want to do here is perhaps create a vignette. Now we can highlight using the items on screen here, or we can use the panel and go to window. And let's say we just want to use a circular um, uh, power window. Click, click on the circular power window on or off. See that off, on. And then what you can do is increase the size of the window. You can increase the aspect. So let's say we wanted to do that and we wanted to soften that. I'll rotate it, uh, soften it. And then um, let's say we wanted to invert that. So let's do that. And let's say I want to just darken the edges of the frame. Then what I can do is using my trackball panel is just say, well, let's take the edges of that frame down. I'll make this quite dramatic. Um, let's look at what it's doing there. That's pretty, pretty, pretty severe. So probably a bit much. Let's see if we can look at the rotation on that. And let's just have a look. I can use my mouse to make the um, master timeline window smaller than the frame itself, so that I can use my. Um, my, my my knobs panel here to adjust where I want the vignette to be. Um, let's just look at, I wanted to rotate that. And then just dial down. There we go. So there you go. That's, let's have a look at that. That's, that's before and that's after. So it's a pretty powerful way. Now I just want to go back to this node here because I'm actually not liking that, um, that, 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 that cyan in the sky. It's just a bit too much. Um, and I want to actually bring the saturation of that sky down a bit. So if I go back to There we go, liking that, a bit more dramatic. So, you know, just, I can simply go back to that node very easily and then uh, just make that adjustment and come back here. And I've just got that little vignette happening on the go there. And um, at this stage, I want to talk to you about, um, you know, the fact that you can grab a still. So if I wanted to go and just, the third button down here, grab still, I can then click on that and change the label and say, um, you know, vignette desat, desat. Um, and that is my base desaturated color. I've taken the green, I've added a bit of yellow to that. I've taken the sky, I've desaturated that a little bit and I've added the vignette because what I can then do is apply that to other scenes if I choose. But just before we move on to that, obviously that's the um, circular um, power window. There is a square, so let's add an extra serial node and just say, um, add the square. I'm gonna use the mouse this time, pull that along to here. And let's say I wanted to 
um, add a, a kind of a, a vignette to the sky and just down to about here. What I'm doing now is I'm just isolating the sky area and let's say I wanted to add a little bit of color to the sky. Let's see, I wanted to add a little bit of yellow warmth. Very, very subtle. Um, but obviously I can pull that down to there. And that's gonna blend in nicely into the bottom of frame. So just using another power window, and you can see up here, it's just affecting that aspect. And um, you know you, you can actually see the grayed out area here. So it's not affecting any of this grass, it's just affecting the sky. And again, you can do that with the mouse or with the panel. I haven't decided yet what I prefer. I tend to flick between the two. Uh, there are times when the knobs and the, the buttons and the knobs are, are just great for that fine subtlety of adjustment. Something like this can be quite quite quick to do with the um, the uh, the mouse. So let me just um, move on now to say another frame here, and let's say this frame here. I wanted to add a very similar look. I could go through and do all this manually, or I can simply click on the still and click on display node graph. And what I can do is I can apply all, bingo. Now, obviously that's kind of like Magic Bullet looks, but the difference is I can go back to each layer and say, do I like that, do I not like it? I actually quite like the way it looks. Let's do it to this one. Let's open up the display node graph, apply all, nice and dramatic. Um, and let's move along to here and uh, display node graph, apply all. And suddenly, well, in that frame, I'm thinking maybe that's a little bit dark. So let's, um, let's look at this and lift our shadows up. There we go. So you can begin to see just how quickly you can create a look for this entire project. Um, uh, look over here, let's apply this here, display node graph, apply all. Yeah, liking that. Um, and let's do the same again here. And, and here. Now that's a little bit dark, so I can just lift those on to the right node and just pull that up a little bit and uh, yeah move on to here so you know it's a very very quick way of applying a look that you can then go on to adjust and, and I particularly like and this has become muscle memory already just hitting the buttons, dialing the, you know, the controls. Um, and, and it is a combination of mouse and panel, but um, it's, it's absolutely terrific. And if you get a chance to have a go on one of these panels, it is absolutely transformational. And as I've always said, you know, I'm not trying to become a fully fledged colorist. Um, I think there are people who have a huge amount of skill that do that. But for the kind of corporate work that I do, I enjoy this aspect of cinematography. And I think there's an argument for if you shoot, in the same way as learning to edit, it's a very valuable skill to learn, um, using one of these panels and color grading with Resolve Light. And you know, let's be honest, Resolve Light is free. It, this was like a $250,000 product like five years ago. So you have all this power. Um, and so I, I certainly think it's worth you know spending a few more pounds or dollars whatever on getting a color grading panel because it, it's just such a beautiful way to color grade and it's so incredibly quick um i absolutely love it i really do and um you know let's take this shot here for example um looking at this area here 
feel like it's a little bit dark in the foreground. So what I can do is add a serial node um, and just add a mask like so. Um, and what I want to do is just move it down so that I'm just dealing with the green areas of the image. Move this up like so, so it's really soft. And it just, and basically, it's like a kind of reverse graduated filter. And all I want to do is lift maybe the mid-tones and lift the blacks up a little bit. And see that? Just adjusting that. And maybe put it a bit more, a bit more saturated, a bit more yellow into it. There we go. See how quick you can do that. And you're just affecting that part of the image. It, it's absolutely, I can't kind of, it's hard to articulate how excited I am about having this power running off an iMac. You know, I mean, this entire system is not, I mean, it's, it's still an investment, but it's not anywhere near the investment that one would have had to make even five years ago. And so I'm able to work in this studio here with an iMac on a Thunderbolt drive running Resolve for free. These panels are like $3,000. And I'm able to work and create very, very quickly. And it, for me, it's just staggering to, to have that control and that power um, at your fingertips. And I do think that, you know, it's, it's really quite exciting to be able to do that. So, you know, um, I strongly advise you to get a copy of Resolve Lite. You can get that at blackmagicdesign.com. Follow the instructions. It's, uh, it's very, very straightforward. Um, make sure your hardware's, you know, up to spec. You know, certainly the new Retina display, MacBook Pros will run it. Um, I've been running it on my MacBook Pro 17 inch, which is two years old without too much trouble. Um, and, and just have a play. Enjoy getting your head around the software. Uh, it's it's incredibly creative part of the process, and and this panel is uh, is terrific. It really is. Um, I, I've I've really found myself becoming like anything. The more you use it, the more confident you get. The more your muscle memory knows where things are. I mean, I've still got a lot to learn here, but I've been using it for like three weeks, and um, so I can't I can't say enough good things about it. And uh, you know, get get onto some color grading. And if you've been using Magic Bullet, give this a try, and watch these videos. And um, you know, look at the other resources we've got on F-Stop Academy. And I look forward to speaking to you again at some point in the future.